if you want to be able to create environments like this then you have to understand how to model buildings and let me take you through how i do that you have to plan the model i find reference on instagram and save it to a collection typically i have a number of collections on instagram that i can just reference but also use pinterest and i put all my images on one slide like this in google drive where everything is in one place and it's unlikely to get lost i start to identify the repetition and the reference floor to floor as you can see here highlighted in red or even tile to tile taking the identified repetition i just start breaking them down into tiles and each tile i'll give a size i use known elements to give sizes to the unknown for instance i know a door is two meter high and i can use that size to work out the rest of the scene for instance I can make an educated guess that this is 2.5 meters by 2.5 meter with the window being one meter wide and 1.2 meter high most buildings are 2.4 meter to 2.75 meter floor to floor except maintenance and ground floors which are often higher now is a good time to jump into the 3d process i make a collection and call it tiles in blender then i start modeling each tile or other words each repeat item Use the edge length function to help with scale and size. Make materials as you go and assign them. Use walls, soles and windows. Common materials you'll find in buildings using a UV checker map to make sure that there are no stretching. Assign to the mesh and this create material slots which can later be edited as you refine your maps. Set seams, this creates flat selectable select linked areas do not set the outer boundaries as a seam because this will interrupt your selection process. As you complete each tile, place the pivot where it makes sense. Often in the corner to the left is where I prefer it. Then make sure that each tile has its scale and rotation collapsed. Build floors, I find it best to build in sections and I'll divide a 15 story building into three sections lower middle and upper each in their own collection this makes it a lot easier to manage your content texture the model using your uvws from the seam you set lay out a good uv this only has to be for the main component the walls in this case since i want it to be 8k all the small details like the soles or frames can be a standard uv project without custom painting in photoshop once you have your base layer and you are happy with the diffuse Use Shift Ctrl Alt E to stamp the visible layer. Add a black and white filter. Shift Ctrl Alt E to stamp the visible layer again. Ctrl J to duplicate that giving you a backup. And then hit Ctrl L to tighten the levels on that. This will give you a bump map. No model or scene is complete without detail. Add detail categorically to represent real world elements such as electrics, plumbing, waste and mechanical elements. 